What's up, y'all? Welcome back into 2K with the Pop Boy. Now, exciting times in 2K right now. The My Career trailer just dropped. Uh, 2K19 is officially almost here. And y'all know I'll be here for it. I'll be in the lab testing all kinds of things, trying to make the game better for all of us. So, hope y'all hang with me for 2K19 and we can make the game better together. But anyway, like I said, the My Career trailer just came out. Now, I've already watched it a few times. Okay, because if you pay attention, you can pick up some kind of sneaky good information about what the mode is going to be like next year. There was definitely one thing that really, really caught my ear when I was watching this trailer, and that's this scene right here, where we have Michael Rappaport, who appears to be the GM or something like that, and he tells you, we have one game left this season, the question is, are you up for it? And then it looks like you're off to the NBA. So there's your call up from the D-League. You got a nice ride with a driver and he's got a sign with your name on it for the last game of the season. Okay, now why is this important? Because by telling you this, they're really kind of laying out how my career is going to be structured this year. Okay, and my big takeaway from this is there's basically going to be a quote-unquote year zero. Um, in my career, where you spend that time sort of working your way up. Okay, and then the next year is really your year one. Okay, so all the other players in the NBA in your my career, they will not progress. They will not be a year older, and their ratings won't be any different. It'll be like that is the first year of your my career. So I like when they make, you know, how you perform early in the game actually matter. I mean, like last year, you, you could walk out onto the proving ground or whatever and pull down your pants and take a dump at center court and then walk off the floor, never even touch the ball, and, and you're still going to basically go into the NBA all the same. So I like when they make your early performance actually matter, and if you don't perform well, you got to grind harder, you got to get your game up to try to make it to the NBA, because getting to the NBA is really fucking hard, so I wish they would just capture that a little better, so I hope that this model actually does that. I'm hopeful, but I'm, I'm not real confident, to be honest with you, because they're already telling you that you're going to get called up to the NBA when there's one game left in the season. So, I don't know, what if what if you're playing with the Mad Ants and you're totally sucking and you don't deserve to be called up, you're, you're probably still going to get called up. So, I don't love that. I wish they had a little more variation um, in the early story. Uh, so, everybody's sort of path to the NBA is a little different based on how well you actually play. And they would sort of build different possibilities into the storyline, uh, make different cutscenes, make it more interesting. So, I like this this structure as a general concept but it does feel like this year it's going to be a little too scripted and you're going to get your spot in the nba a little too handed to you on a silver platter uh, hopefully not as bad as last year that was that was insane so we'll see it's got to be better than last year in in that regard and honestly the story can't get much worse than last year too so i, I think we're pointing up in the right direction but if i'm reading this right and this is actually going to be the structure of my career i still have a couple questions when you get done with that year zero are you then going to be a free agent? I don't know how much that will make sense because if you really do only play one game at the end of the regular season, you're, it's not like you're going to be some hot free agent commodity and get some great offers from a bunch of teams. So I don't know about that. But on the other hand, you don't want to be stuck with one specific team. And something else, speaking of that, is everybody going to get called up to the same team? They had the Fort Wayne Mad Ants in the trailer, but are they going to have several different D-League teams? That way, when you get called up, you get get called up to different NBA teams. So is everybody going to be on the same D-League team? Are they going to get called up to the same NBA team? Or can they get called up from the Mad Ants to the freaking Clippers? I don't know. Well, let's have to see how that all works out. But go ahead and comment below, guys. Let me know what you would prefer. And we'll find out more on August 31st. That's when the prelude is coming out. That's right. They are doing another prelude this year. August 31st. It'll be a free download. And then we'll have the early release coming out a week later. But y'all know I'll be all over it. I'm going to dive straight into the lab. I, I, I have a list a mile long of things I'm going to be testing, all kinds of shit I want to find out about 2K19. And I can't wait to share with all you guys. Okay, so if you're new, you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit your notifications on too. That way you make sure you don't miss anything. Because even on the 31st, I'm hoping I'll be able to test some things out with the archetypes and the rating caps. I'm going to have my calculator out, maybe, maybe a protractor. But I'm hoping with the prelude on 31st, I'll be able to test and find out some stuff with the archetypes. And then September 7th, we're full blown. So I hope to see all you guys there. But in the meantime, I'll be back soon with more, of course. And by the way, don't forget to leave a thumbs up down below uh, you help the channel grow and we could all do more find out more make the game even better in the future but i'll see you guys back up in here next time 
on 2K with the pop boy.